Hi there, and welcome back to our auspicious YouTube channel of Wondershare Dr. Film. So today we are going to be learning about the right ways of explaining just how to factory reset your Samsung device without a passcode. So my name is Francisco, and before we start working on these methods, please subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to follow all of the latest news and updates. So let's move into the discussion about how to factory reset your Samsung phones with ease. Part one, when do we need to factory reset our Samsung phones? So when does someone consider just factory resetting their devices? There are going to be multiple reasons why you might consider this option, out of which we have introduced some of them coming up right now. So those who plan to sell their smartphones consider factory resetting their device. This helps them erase all of that data and settings set in their device, keeping the data protected from other unauthorized users. If there is a particular software bug that is causing multiple problems in the device, one of the best ways to eliminate it is to factory reset the Samsung device. Such software issues are exempted from the device after this process. The devices can accumulate unwanted data, which leads to the filling up of the storage space. So when that happens, devices usually slow down. So to avoid such problems, you might have to factory reset your device periodically to clean up the complete storage. However, do not forget to back up your important data before you perform this action. In conditions where you have forgotten your password, the only way to protect your device from getting locked is to factory reset it. Although there's no easy way to do it, the only way left to secure the device is going to be to reset it. Part two, five ways to factory reset Samsung phones without password. So as you have marked all these points for a Samsung smartphone whose password is forgotten, we will now shift to discussing the ways that can be used to factory reset the device. So following up, we are going to be talking about five unique methods that can be utilized to explain how to factory reset Samsung under different circumstances. So method number one is going to be via the recovery mode. So is your Samsung device not connected to any Google or Samsung account? Although you can't save your device by logging in with one of the accounts, what to do if you have no clue about the credentials of any of your account? Well, the technique provided below is the optimal solution that you can go with such a condition. Step one, for starters, you will have to put your Samsung device in recovery mode. The booting process stands different for the different model types in Samsung. So for Samsung Galaxy smartphones with the home button, press and hold the power and volume down buttons for at least 10 seconds. On a vibration, press and hold the combination of power, volume up and home buttons as the Samsung logo appears. The phone will then be put in recovery mode. Now for Samsung Galaxy smartphones without a home button, you need to hold the power and volume down buttons for 10 seconds. Continue to hold the power, volume up and home buttons after feeling a vibration on the device. And then once the Samsung logo appears, your device is going to be in recovery mode from there. Then as you are in recovery mode, use the volume up and down buttons to navigate through the menus. Just lead over to the wipe data slash factory reset option and then press the power button to select the option. On the next section, just navigate to the yes, wipe all user data option to start the process. As the process concludes, just go ahead and select the option of reboot system now and the phone will restart from there. Method number two is going to be via Google Find My Device. However, what if you have a Google account connected to your device? If it is activated, you might have turned on the Find My Device service. In such a situation, you can factory reset your Samsung device without turning it on the device. However, you just have to ensure that your Samsung is connected to a Wi-Fi or mobile data connection. So to know exactly how to factory reset your Android phone with the help of Google Find My Device, just follow the steps coming right up. So for step one, just open the Find My Device service in your web browser and log in with your Google account. You need to log in with the account that is logged in on your Samsung device. And then afterwards, upon logging in, just find the device is connected on the top left corner. And then just go ahead and select your Samsung Galaxy device and continue to the Erase Device button on the left panel and again select the Erase Device option to confirm. You will observe a prompt on your screen and then just go ahead and click on the Erase button for confirmation. Method number three, via Samsung Find My Mobile. So you can also try using the Samsung Find My Mobile service for factory resetting the device. If you wish to seek how to factory reset Samsung without a password, the following steps presented will help you out. 
So first things first, you're going to want to launch the Find My Mobile service in your web browser and log in with your Samsung account that is activated on your Samsung Galaxy device. You just verify the device and then continue to the next screen. You will find the device displayed on the next page and then just go ahead and click on the Erase Data button appearing on the right panel to continue with the process. And then as a prompt appears on the screen, just click on the Erase button to execute the process successfully from there. Now as for method number four, this is going to be with Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android. So what if none of the other methods that we have mentioned so far work out for you? and you are locked out of your Samsung device. Instead of calling it useless, you need to navigate to other options. If you're facing difficulty in finding the right option for yourselves, Dr. Phone Screen Unlock for Android is here to save the day. The screen unlocking tool provides some of the best functionalities with the option of unlocking all types of screen locks. So if you seek to factory reset your Samsung smartphone, you can easily unlock your device with the help of this tool. So while supporting the latest Samsung smartphones, there are multiple features that make Dr. Phone special. And to know how you can unlock your Samsung device with the help of this tool, just follow the steps coming up right up. So first things first, as you download and install Wondershare Dr. Phone on your computer, just proceed to select Screen Unlock from the main menu, and then connect your Android smartphone to your computer through a cabled connection. And then just continue to select the option of Unlock Android Screen slash FRP and proceed to the Unlock Android Screen option for unlocking the screen lock of your device. For factory resetting the device alongside removing all kinds of screen locks, just select the option of 100% remove screen lock. So on the next screen, just go ahead and select the respective device brands that you own, which is Samsung in this case. You will then have to put your device in recovery mode, which is different for the different Samsung models. For Samsung with Bixby, just turn off your Samsung and keep it connected to the computer. Press and hold the volume up, Bixby and power buttons and release them once the logo appears on the screen. For Samsung devices without the Bixby button, just power off your device and press the volume up and power buttons and then hold them for a few seconds and then just, just release them as the logo appears on your device. For Samsung devices with home buttons still, as you turn off the device, press and hold the volume up, home and power buttons until the Samsung logo appears on your screen. As you find yourselves in the recovery mode, just go ahead and tap the next button to continue. By using the volume buttons, you can go ahead and navigate within the menu itself. So just move to the wipe data slash factory reset option and press the power button to select it. And then just confirm the option of yes in the next screen and continue to select the option of wipe cache partition. Confirm the prompt that appears and finally just select the option of reboot system now. And once the device is in the factory reset state, the device will restore properly and normally with all locks removed from it from there. Part three, how to recover data from Samsung after doing a factory reset. So once you have performed the factory reset on your Samsung device, you will be confused probably about how to recover all of that data back. Before that, there are going to be multiple techniques that you can consider, which are discussed next. The first one is going to be through your Google account. So the first option involves initiating the Google account and synchronizing all of that data into the device. While setting up, you need to sign in with your Google account and then select all options that represent the restoration of the backup. Another solution, number two, can be computer backups. Another option that can be helpful in this scenario are usually just going to be computer backups. If by any chance you have saved your Samsung data on the computer, you can make use of this option. So just connect your device with the USB cable and transfer all data conventionally. Third option is going to be through an SD card, so Dr. Phone Data Recovery. If the data is protected within the SD card, there is a complete option of recovering the data that was present in your device. For that, the best way is going to be to use Dr. Phone Data Recovery as an element in this process. While this is easy, secure, and reliable, you can easily recover the data within your device. To do that, just follow the simple steps explained coming right up. Step 1. Launch Dr. Phone and proceed to the data recovery section. Connect the SD card to your computer with an appropriate technique and click Next. As the SD card is detected, just click Next to proceed, and then select the respective scan mode that you wish to perform on the SD card. It is preferred to go for the standard mode. After selecting the recovery mode, continue to tap on next to start the scan from there. As the scan concludes, the preview window is going to 
that display the files discovered in categories. They can be restored to the device or the computer as appropriate. So we hope that you have understood the major techniques on how to factory reset your Samsung phone if you have forgotten your password. So if you liked our video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up and do share our video to help us grow and, and subscribe to our channel for more content just like this. So with that, we'll see you on the next video. Enjoy.